Hello and welcome everyone. Are you in for another AI powered tool? In which case you should stay at this video because I'm going to look at Jama Hook, a plugin that says that it can suggest loops based on the input sound that you give it. Now you can log in here either with this form or with Google or Facebook, or you can use it as a guest, which I find very nice because then I can just use it now before deciding if I even like it more things should have a feature like that. Anyway, now I'm going to click on the match button and just play back the music for a while. Okay, now it suggested harmonies, rhythms, and drums, whatever the difference between rhythm and drum is. Okay, it has to keep on loading when you change the tab. Let's check out the harmonies. Okay, interesting. Can we play it back while we are listening to it? Oh yeah, that does sound a lot like the sound that we have already. Just wondering why does it have all these birds in it? Can the producer not add birds by themselves when they want to? Maybe the track doesn't have anything to do with birds and then you have this pet sound. You really want to use this pet sound but you can't because there is birds in it. Again, birds. Maybe the birds are there so that one cannot steal the loop. But that would be kind of silly because I can hear that these loops are already time stretched and I wouldn't try to steal something that sounds lossy anyway. What will it cost to use one of these loops? Cannot buy in guest mode, please log in. I will definitely not log in or I can transpose. Okay, so they have been recorded in different keys and it just selects the key that you've been shown the, to the plugin. Okay, whatever. Can I somehow like uh, sort them in a way that it's not showing me the stuff that I can buy, but the stuff that I can just use for free? Settings, matching duration. Yeah, it should definitely listen to more music next time. Playback volume, minus six, yeah, whatever. Snap playback to Recording point, okay. Normalize match playback, I don't know. Max shift down, set the maximum pitch down for matches. Max shift up, okay, so this is basically controlling the time stretching. When something is too far off, then it will not even be suggested. Great, so all of them have to be bought. Oh, this waveform looks interesting. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. When you are actually playing back the music, then it will restart the loop from there. It would be cool if there was a way to just select a loop without playing it back, so that it only plays back when I'm playing back the project. And the else is silent. Okay, are there any loops that I don't have to buy? Oh, this one looks interesting. Makes no sense at all with my music. Yeah, it's okay. Um, rhythm, let's check out the rhythms. So just to be clear, I really liked some of these loops, but I don't like that there is nothing free in here. Okay, so the rhythm section is not exactly drums, but something that connects harmony with drums, like bass lines. But also this, which is definitely not a bass line. 
But wait, there was also a bass line in the harmony section before. It seems to me like these sounds are not very well sorted. <laughs> Okay, let's try the drums. I think I had more luck with the harmony than with the rhythm section. Okay, I already got kicks. Okay, toms. These toms are very distinct, like if I use this loop now, it's I think it's a cool loop and everything, but if I used it now and someone else used it, I would totally immediately notice that it's the same loop. Also I don't get why these have to be time stretched, they could have just been pitch shifted since they are just drums. I don't want to hear any time stretching artifacts on drums. Okay, interesting. This one sounds a bit like reggae. is a little bit weird like it's it seems a bit random to suggest drums for this beat because the drums don't have anything to do with the intention of my music it just seems like well there were drums and they were time stretched to the same tempo i don't need an ai to do that i'm also not sure if this is actually an ai because you know you can just store the information which key a sample is in the sample itself and then you can also algorithmically detect what the key is of the incoming signal and you know you could do this whole thing without AI so I'm not really sure if this is actually an AI tool like the website suggests but let's just ignore the AI aspect for now and just discuss how useful this is. I really like the UI UX of this plugin it does explain itself completely you can just go in here like boom let it analyze and you get your suggestions and well at least the harmony section gives you something that actually makes sense and sounds very similar to the music that you have. Filter I can filter out certain things to get something very specific. China. Do I get China symbols then? Okay, obviously China doesn't have harmony. Rhythm. Why is this Chinese? Why is this drums? That makes no sense. Okay, some of the things in this plugin really don't make sense, but it is definitely a plugin with an overall cool workflow and stuff. What's this? Favorites. Free account required to store favorites. No, I don't want to have an account. I don't know. I, I might be a little bit old school when it comes to that, but I can't imagine wanting to spend money on every single sound that I want to have. Like I can still understand those people who buy sample packs because it's like, okay, you know that this particular sound designer made a pack of samples, a lot of samples in some specific style or to solve a really specific problem. I also once bought a sample pack, which was a drum recording, which I found to sound really cool. But just buying individual loops that are really short and only so solve a really specific purpose for a really specific track, maybe, and then they don't even fit perfectly, but just a little bit. I don't understand where this trend is coming from. I personally don't think that's fun. However, if there were some free loops as well, and also ones that are not that distinct, like that you can put in 
project and you don't immediately notice when someone else uses the same loops, then it would be cool, I guess. Like for example, if there was a loop that just has these 808 cobbles and then makes some sort of fill in with them at the end of the loop, ding 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 ding, or something like that, that wouldn't be so obvious because a lot of people have the one shots of these 808 cobbles. So it could always be that it's not from the same loop, but just from the one shots. Or maybe what could also make sense is to provide loops when it comes to sounds that are really not easy to get for the user, like not pads and stuff. In the harmony section, there were a lot of pads that already sound super similar to the pads that I already have here. That's just a bunch of synth one, you know? You don't have to be a super hard synth nerd to know how to make a pad. So you don't have to buy a pad sound from a loop. Especially considering that synthesizers are more versatile than loops. Much more versatile. It's kind of beyond me why people would spend money on that. But drums? Drums maybe. Yeah, when if there were drums in, in this plugin that are recorded with multi-mic setups, you know, something that you don't have at home, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. I would think that's very appreciatable. And then with the same GUI that has a great workflow and everything, sure, let's go.